may mga lugar na pang matagalan. May mga lugar na dinadaanan lang. Parang Hong Kong. Ay, charat. <laughs> okay, take two. Hey guys, day one. We actually arrived so early at the airport because we don't want to miss the first international flight of the year. So here we are, just waiting for our boarding time. So after we get off the plane, we went straight to the airport train going to the other side of the airport. First things first is that we bought a SIM card from 7-Eleven, which I forgot to film. Since it's just me and my boyfriend, we chose to get the SIM card over the Wi-Fi because it's more reasonable and of course a lot cheaper compared to Wi-Fi. So we got the one with unlimited data for 7 days which cost for around 80 Hong Kong dollars. Then next is the Octopus card which we bought from the NTR booths at the airport. This is basically the key to pay mostly everything here in Hong Kong. So we have to get one each. Since it's too early for us to go check in, we decided to leave our luggages at their baggage counters for 12 Hong Kong dollars per hour per bag. Then at the exit, you can choose to take the bus or the train going to the city but since we want to got cost, we chose to take the bus instead because it's way more cheaper than taking up the train. Here we are now on the outside world, <laughs> just waiting for our bus to arrive. Commuting is just very easy. As you can see, there are always lists on the stops on every destination. As you can see, this is our first stop using our octopus card. Then, we went straight at the upper deck of the bus to get an amazing view of the city. First stop of the day, Ngongping Village. So going there, we need to ride the bus going to Tongchong. Then from Tongchong, another ride going to Ngongping. So this is just a 30 minute ride from Hong Kong International Airport going to Tongchong. Hi guys, so Tom is a 23 going to Big Buddha. ang pinakamagandang babae ngayon na nasa Hong Kong. So, dito sa Hong Kong, normally, sa yung quarter day mas na So, dito, masunod rin. Kahit na wala dumadaan. Now, let's go! Ah, Ngong Ping! Sad to say, sarado ngayon, maintenance for a week ata. Kit ng taxi nila guys. <laughs> yes, Big Buddha, let's go. So, ito na talaga guys, ang tama. Mahaba siya. from Tongchong, we are now here at Ngongping Village. So first stop is 7-Eleven. <laughs> at this point, we are really so hungry. Oh, this is actually our first meal of the day since we get off from Manila. We just had to get something for our tummies to calm down. So we had some noodles, like this is everyone's first choice when it comes to instant meal. <laughs> Plus we also have some soy milk. Target, target luck. Hey guys, so we are here in the village. What? What do you call it here in the village? Ngong Ping Village. Ngong Ping Village. Before we go to the Big Buddha, we are here first because we are eating. Hey guys, Challenge natin for today. Akyat tayo dito sa Pinakabuda. 
Shotgun, shotgun, ganja, ganja. Tara na, ano ba meron sa taas? Malapit lang yan. I have to admit, it is actually an achievement getting up here. <laughs> So this is what you can see from above. You can see an amazing view of the mountains. Then they also have this museum or some sort of a cemetery. Not sure but filming is not allowed inside. So we just had a quick round up here. Then we actually rushed back to the airport because we don't want to pay for the extra charges on our luggages. Luggage. so sakpang sakpo kami nandito. Hindi kami nag-additional ng another one hour baggage. So, thank you, Dolphy. <laughs> From Hong Kong International Airport, we had a thermite ride going to the city. Then finally, we're gonna get to check in. This is us now, luggage free. <laughs> and now we're gonna go explore near eats around our place. <laughs> yeah. Are you talking about Jordan Street? Dito pinanak si Jordan. So, tignan natin dito, may sander pa sa'yo, may hold up. sa Jordan Street ulit <laughs> Quick tip, so here in Hong Kong, they already have English menu, so we downloaded this photo translator app for our convenience, but this isn't that accurate, so you still need to comprehend a little. And so we found this temple street, which we didn't know that this place is one of the tourist spots. <laughs> we just got lucky on this one because it's near our place. So this is where we'll explore for tonight. For sharing, na to, parang di ba? Isang ulaw tas kumpanin. Temple Street is not just one street, but actually multiple streets. So there are a lot of street foods, food stalls, and cheap restaurants to choose from. Day 2! It's a weekend, and we're starting our day today with, of course, coffee. <laughs> First coffee stop shop, Cactus Coffee. This is just in the same building as to where we are staying. So I ordered an iced dolce triple latte for me, and he ordered hot cactus coffee. After coffee, we are now ready for our next destination. So going there, we took the train, which they call it here as MTR. So taking the MTR is very easy. They always have these directions to which exit you should take. So for us, we are going to the Hong Kong Cultural Center, so we are following this exit. So ayun guys, dito kami sa labas kasi yan ang Purita. Purita! So that's just me posing for the camera with my boyfriend taking such gorgeous photos for me. <laughs> anyway, so for today, since it's a weekend, we will just be exploring outer places because we want to avoid indoor populated places.
This place is like a one-stop destination where you can find famous tourist spots in one area. You just have to walk around and see nearby attractions. So around Tim Shashui area, you can already visit the Hong Kong Cultural Center, the Big Ben Clock Like, the Port, the Bay, the Garden, the Avenue of Stars, and many more. There is actually a map of attractions you can see around the area. So it's like an all-in-one area. <laughs> So we are now on our way to meet my Nina who is in Hong Kong but I don't have a video of her because I'm shy. But yeah, she treats us on an unlimited lunch and took us to city gate where all the who knows what happens. Now we go to shopping. <laughs> now we go to shopping on Hong Kong trip. We don't have money. And the disaster happened. <laughs> so this is us on our way home, not knowing if we're sad or happy about the situation. But yeah, we must get an ROI for this. <laughs> Wow, sapatos check. Going to the Empress Museum today, then Cup Noodles Museum after. So yeah, scheduled yung mga museum namin. Ayun. Glilo pa pala mo na kami na octopus card. Kasi wala na kami load. So ito. Hey, business pala yun, sorry. Ah! Ha! 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 Oh my god! Ha! 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 Nabuhas na nga ng 200 doong dollars, mamigat pa. Look it. Ay, grabe na nga ni Mika. Ay, tingnan mo. Teka lang, tumabi mo na siya. Ako pa nareklamo, di ba? Oh my God. Tap tayo. Tap. Let's go. Ano ba nangyayari dito sa girlfriend ko? Nawalag yung tap. Maraming tao ngayon dito. Saan tayo? Buti lang ba saan ako? Saan tayo? Hindi tama ba? Diyan na tayo? Malalaman natin ito. Sige. Libre lang naman umakyat. So ayun, natagpuan na namin ang exit dito sa mga Dolce and Gabon. Wala ko mamimili kay John Love. Sarado. Sarado pa. Malas. Finally got in at Empress Museum. So this museum exhibits Hong Kong's visual culture of 20th and 21st century. So if you're into it, this is the museum for you. Tickets are available online and at their ticket booths inside the museum. Next museum, Cup Noodles Museum. This is one of my most awaited activity of the day because we're gonna make some noodles like noodles from scratch so I'm pretty much excited about it so for the tickets we purchased all their three workshops online because we want to secure our slots 
Starting with our first workshop, we're gonna make some ramen. So this is like literally all began with flour and water, then from kneading to frying. This is a one-of-a-kind experience and we enjoyed it, so I'm giving this a 10. <laughs> Next workshop is this cup designing workshop. First is that you have to choose what flavors you want for your cup noodles. And then next is you have to design your cup. Then last is the granola factory. I don't have a video because videos are not allowed inside. But it's basically just the same thing as the second workshop. Just that it's granola. Done with our museum dates, and now we're heading for some coffee to this coffee place in Mangkok. Halfway coffee. And now for one of the most awaited part of the day, visiting Mangkok, the famous night market and street food market in Hong Kong. Day 4! Okay, this is super obvious. <laughs> so today, we are going to Disneyland. And also obviously, our most awaited part of the trip. Also, this is like everyone's reason for traveling to Hong Kong. So, it's already my fourth time visiting Hong Kong Disneyland. But this is the most special visit because I'm with the love of my life. <laughs> I'm with the one who I really wanted to like I really wished to visit Hong Kong Disneyland with. So here we are just enjoying every moment and that is all we did. Day 5! Wow! We are almost near to the end of our trip. So, of course, first agenda of the day, coffee. We ordered one of their specials of the day plus just a regular latte. Kapag may magandang shots <laughs> sa vlog ko. Dahil yan dito. <laughs> Thank you! The next stop, Choi Hong Estate. This is also one of the most visited places in Hong Kong, which they have colorful and Instagrammable buildings. itinerary of today, we visited the pink tram. So this is where you can see the beautiful skyline of Hong Kong. Last 
day it is. <laughs> again and again, first stop, coffee. So today is just a chill day for us, just doing cafe hopping near our area. Anyway, I would just like to express how I feel about this avocado toast. It is actually my first time trying this and I love it. <laughs> We ate ramen for late lunch. So, this is also just in the same building to where we are staying. And then, after, we just walk around on the other side of the building and we just had another quick drink and, of course, our last drink before we head back to the airport. I still can't believe this vacation is over. So we are now back at the airport and all I can say is this will always be a very memorable vacation in my life. <laughs> so yeah, this is it. Thank you so much guys again for watching and for being here. See you on my next one. Bye!